Hey, hello YouTube players. Free cat. The tree view appears in the model tab of the combo view, one of the most important panels in the interface. It shows all user defined objects that are part of a free CAD document. The tree view is a representation of the document's structure and indicates what information is saved to disk. These objects don't necessarily have to be geometrical shapes visible in the 3D view, but can also be supporting data objects created with any of the workbenches. Working with the tree view By default, whenever a new object is created, it is added to the end of the list. In the tree view The tree view allows managing the objects to keep them organized, it permits creating groups, moving objects inside groups, moving groups inside other groups, renaming objects, copying objects, deleting objects, and other operations in the context menu, right click, which depend on the currently selected object and the currently active workbench. Many operations create objects that are dependent on a previously existing object. In this case, the tree view shows this relationship by absorbing the older object inside the new object. Expanding and collapsing the objects in the tree view shows the parametric history of that object. Objects that are deeper inside others are older, while objects that are outside are newer, and are derived from the older objects. By modifying the interior objects, the parametric operations propagate all the way to the top generating a new result. The topmost object is created by doing parametric operations on objects which themselves were created by previous operations. Expanding the tree many levels reveals the original elements that were used to create the partial solids. Actions Since the tree view lists objects that may be visible in the 3D view, many of the actions are the same as those that can be executed from the 3D view. When the application starts, the default start workbench is active, and no document has been created, right-clicking on the tree view shows one submenu with four commands. Expression actions. O copy selected. O copy active document. O copy all documents. O paste. These allow working with various documents, but are disabled if no document is present. Once a new document has been created the following become active. Expression actions. O copy active document. O copy all documents. In addition, link actions are available. Link actions. O make link group. Simple group. Group with links. Group with transform links. O make link. Selecting the document. If you select the active document and right click, in addition to expression actions and link actions, the following commands appear. Show hidden items, if active, the tree view will show hidden items. Search, shows an input field to search objects inside the selected document. Close document closes the selected document. Skip recomputes, if active, the document's objects will not recompute automatically. O allow partial recomputes, if active, the document will allow recompute of only some objects. Mark to recompute, marks all objects of the document as touched, and ready for recompute. Create group, creates a group in the selected document. Selecting objects. Once objects are added to the document right-clicking them will show additional commands. These depend on the number of selected objects, their type and also on the active workbench. In most cases and with most workbenches, except the start workbench, the following commands are then available. Appearance Launch is a dialog to change the visual properties of the whole object. Random color, 
assigns a random color to the object. Cut, disabled. Copy, copies an object into memory. Paste, pastes the copied object into the document, the copy is added to the end of the tree view. Delete, removes the object from the document. Hide item, if active, the selected object will be set as hidden. Add dependent objects to selection, all dependent objects will be added to the selection. This way one can see the dependencies and for example delete all dependent objects at once. This option is only available if one of the selected objects has links. Introduced in version 0.20 Mark to recompute, marks the selected object as touched, and ready for recompute. Recompute object, recomputes the selected object. Rename, starts editing the label of the selected object, not the name which is read only. This option is only available if a single object is selected. As an example of context menu extension. If a part box is right clicked while the part workbench is active the following additional commands are available. Edit, activates the edit mode of the object. Transform, launches the transform widget to move or rotate the object. Attachment editor, launches a dialog to attach the object to one or more other objects. Set colors, sets the color of selected faces of the object. Toggle visibility, makes the object visible or invisible in the 3D view. Show selection, makes the selected object visible. Hide selection, makes the selected object invisible. Toggle selectability, toggles the selectability of the object in the 3D view. Select all instances, selects all instances of this object in the tree view. Send to Python console creates a variable in the Python console referencing the object. Keyboard actions The following keyboard actions are available when the focus is on the tree view. Ctrl and F opens a search box at the bottom of the tree, allowing to search and reach objects using their names or labels. Expand and collapse actions using Alt and Arrow combinations. Introduced in version 0.20. O Alt and Left, collapses selected item, S. O Alt and Right, expands selected item, S. O Alt and Up, expands selected item, S. With all their tier 1 children collapsed, deeper children remain unchanged. O Alt and Down, expands selected item, S. With all their tier 1 children expanded as well, deeper children remain unchanged. Overlay icons One or more smaller overlay icons can be displayed on top of an object's default icon in the tree view. The available overlay icons and their meaning are listed below. Introduced in version 0.19 White check mark on blue background this indicates that the object has to be recomputed, due to changes made to the model or because the user marked the object in the tree view context menu to be recomputed. In most cases recomputes are triggered automatically, but sometimes they are delayed for performance reasons. White arrow on green background. This indicates the so-called tip of a body. It is usually the last feature in a part design body and represents the whole body to the world outside of the body, for example when the body is exported or used in part boolean operations. The tip can be changed by the user. Purple chain link on white background. This is typically shown for sketches, geometric primitives, such as box, cylinder, etc. and datum geometry. It indicates that the object is not attached to anything. It has no attachment offset and gets its position and alignment solely from its placement property. There is a basic attachment tutorial explaining how to handle such objects. Yellow X This is only used for sketches and indicates that the sketch is not fully constrained. 
inside of Sketcher the number of remaining but degrees of freedom is shown in the solver messages. White exclamation mark on red background. This indicates that the object has an error that needs to be fixed. After recomputing the whole document a tooltip describing the error is shown when you hover the mouse over the object in the tree view. Note, all other objects depending on an object in such an error state will not be properly recomputed, thus they may still show some old state. A free CAD document contains all the objects of your scene. It can contain groups, and objects made with any workbench. You can therefore switch between workbenches, and still work on the same document. The document is what gets saved to disk when you save your work. You can also open several documents at the same time in free CAD, and open several views of the same document. Inside the document, the objects can be moved into groups, and have a unique name. Managing groups, objects and object names is done mainly from the tree view. Note, it can also be done, of course, like everything in FreeCAD, from the Python interpreter. In the tree view, you can create groups, move objects to groups, delete objects or groups by right-clicking in the tree view or on an object, rename objects by double-clicking on their names, or possibly other operations, depending on the current workbench. The objects inside a free CAD document can be of different types. Each workbench can create its own types of objects, for example the mesh workbench creates mesh objects, the part workbench create part objects. The draft workbench also creates part objects, etc. If there is at least one document open in FreeCAD, there is always one and only one active document. That's the document that appears in the current 3D view, the document you are currently working on. Application and user interface. Like almost everything else in FreeCAD, the graphical user interface part, GUI, is separated from the base application part, app. This is also valid for documents. The documents are also made of two parts, the application document, which contains our objects, and the view document, which contains the representation on screen of our objects. Think of it as two spaces, where the objects are defined. Their constructive parameters, is it a cube, a cone, which size, are stored in the application document, while their graphical representation, is it drawn with black lines, with blue faces, are stored in the view document. Why is that? Because free CAD can also be used without graphical interface, for example, inside other programs, and we must still be able to manipulate our objects even if nothing is drawn on the screen. Another thing that is contained inside the view document are 3D views. One document can have several views opened, so you can inspect your document from several points of view at the same time. Maybe you would want to see a top view and a front view of your work at the same time. Then, you will have two views of the same document, both stored in the view document. Creating new views or closing views can be done from the view menu or by right-clicking on a view tab. Scripting Documents can be easily created, accessed and modified from the Python interpreter. For example, freecad.active document will return the current, active, document freecad.activedocument.blob would access an object called blob inside your document. document will return the view document associated to the current document. document.blob would access the graphical representation of view part of our blob object. FreeCaggy.ActiveDocument.ActiveView will return the current view.